Yo, what's up guys? I'm Yannick from the Produce School and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make Stutter House. Stutter House is a new subgenre or style within electronic dance music and it revolves around a distinct music production effect which is a stuttering vocal, lead, synth or basically any sound that stutters. This effect is also known as a gate or trans gate effect which have existed for a lot of years already now but now this effect has become really popular again. Some artists that made this style really popular are Fred again, Bond, Levern and many more. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make a stutter house track yourself. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And with that being said, let's create a stutter house track. If you want to check out all the samples, presets, vocals, and basically any sound that I'm using in this video, then make sure to check out our latest pack Omnia, which is the ultimate modern dance music producer pack for 2024. Check it out and support the pack using the link in the description or click the link over here. The stutter effect can mostly be heard on vocals and synths that have a long sustained sound. Like this vocal from our pack Omnia, which has some really long sustained vocals like this. And then with the stutter effect. To create the stutter, I added a plugin called Grossbeat, which is one of FL's stock plugins. If you go to the gate section over here, and this one gives that simple choppy effect. You can also try different presets, like faster ones. But for this track, I just left it really simple on a 1 4 beat gate. With the volume knob over here, you can control the wet level of the gross beat. So when I drag it down, it's not working anymore. And you can use that for automation purposes. After the gross beat, which is adding the choppy effect, I added an EQ to remove some uh, unwanted frequencies. Then I added a reverb to give it some more space and room. Makes it sound like bigger. You can also choose to put the reverb before the gate, so in front of gross beat. Then it will be even more choppy because then the reverb, the wet level of the reverb is also being uh, chopped up. But I chose to add the reverb after the stutter effect um, so it's a bit more smooth in the mix. Then there's a kickstart which helps for side chaining. The mix at 100%. Pretty hard side chaining. And there's an EQ and an endless small which are used for automations. In a build up of the track, I used a different stutter effect to make it a little bit more interesting, which sounds like this. So as you can hear, the stutter effect is gradually becoming faster or slower. Um, I did this with a Panomatic, a Fruity Panomatic which is a LFO plugin, which basically lets you modulate um, an LFO for the volume or the panning. Um, I put the amount at 100% over here, and then I created an automation clip for the speed. So it goes slower and faster again. I also made a video that goes a little bit more in depth into this stutter vocal technique. Um, so if you want to watch that one, then click the link over here. Now let's move on to the bass. For the bass, I used three different layers. The first one is a Reese bass, which I also used in the breakdown. Um, it sounds like this. As you can hear, a lot of the low end of this Reese bass is removed. And I did this with an EQ. Um, in the breakdown, it's like this. 
So it has the full bass, but for the drop, I wanted to use a different bass, a more plucky bass. And I use this Reese bass as a kind of drone bass. And it also adds that more like sustained driving energy um, to the other basses, which sound like this. The main bass has two layers, which are this one. It's a preset called Bass Forget. Um, and it's just a simple saw bass. which is being filtered and modulated with an envelope, like this. And then it has a top layer, which only has some like mid and high frequencies, because the rest of the bass frequencies are already being used by the main bass. For the effects, there is an EQ on this top bass to remove the low frequencies, and then the main bass also has an EQ to remove some high frequencies over here and an OTT for some multi-band compression. And then both basses also have kickstart just for some simple side chaining. Together with the Reese bass and the kick it sounds like this. Now let's move on to the drums of the drop. First of all, there's this punchy and deep kick. I used an EQ to remove a little bit of the click. Then there's this drum loop, which is a kind of UK garage groove. A clap sound. And another clap. And at the end of every fourth and eighth clap, there is this reverse clap. Which makes it a bit more interesting. Then there's this open head, which is really simple on every offbeat. Basic house rhythm. And there are some percussion shots with a lot of reverb, like this one. And this one as well. They just help with the atmosphere of the track. Some ear candy sounds basically. Then in the second part of the drop, there is this hi-hat loop. Which just helps with the drive of the track. Low in volume and a shaker loop as well. Also adds, which also adds some more energy to the drums. Now let's go over the synths that are in this track. First of all, the main synth that I used is this sound. It's a serum preset called Bliss, which is in our Omnia pack. And it's this really warm kind of analog synth sound, which sounds like this. And the cutoff is being automated later on the track. So it opens up a little more. It plays this MIDI. And there's an EQ on this synth. I removed a bunch of the low frequencies because um, the Reese bass is already taking care of that um, lower bass spectrum. And then there's a reverb to add some room, makes it sound more atmospheric. Then in the build-up section, as well as in the second part of the drop, I introduced this path. Which plays the same chords as the synth. It's a serum preset called Remind, and it's this high, kind of ethereal 
uh, pad. There's an EQ on there to remove some of the low frequencies um, and a kickstart for side chaining, but nothing crazy. And it also helps with like the atmosphere of the track. Even though it's not that loud in volume, it still adds something nice to uh, the breakdown. Then let me go over the effects. First of all, there are some ambient sounds like this one. Which gives a real life touch to the track. Then there is this drone sound, which is just a sustained note that's being played uh, throughout the whole track. Also a trick that you can hear Fred again do a lot. Together with the other sounds. Also makes it really atmospheric and euphoric. Then there are some basic uplifters like white noise based. which are just really simple. A deep impact. And there's also this like snare roll. And then some downlifters again in the uh, drop to help with the energy. And then when you put everything together, like the vocals, synths, bass, drums, effects and more, you will get something like this. Can we hit rewind and turn around? Hope you could learn some new things by watching this video if you have any questions about certain things that i did then feel free to drop a comment and i will try to help you on there with your own music productions for now i want to thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video